Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. California lawmakers have introduced a new bill that would ban law enforcement from stopping drivers for a low-level violation unless there's a specific reason. It comes just a month after the murder of Sacramento native Tyree Nichols, who was pulled over for allegedly driving recklessly in Memphis. Police have arrested 30-year-old LaShawn Sparks for child endangerment and homicide. That in connection to the death of a three-year-old boy last Tuesday at a Motel 6. The relationship between Sparks and the boy is not clear right now. Metro Fire of Sacramento has released video of a mobile home firefight in North Highlands today. Two adults and two children escaped, though a dog did die. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Eight people are hurt, too critically, after New York police say a man driving a U-Haul truck struck them in Brooklyn. Police eventually pinned the vehicle against a building and arrested the driver. New Mexico State has canceled the rest of its men's basketball season over new hazing allegations. A player came forward with allegations of hazing and unwanted sexual touching, some by his own teammates. The team's coaching staff is also on paid leave during the investigation. Buckingham Palace has announced that Camilla, Queen Consort, has tested positive for COVID-19. She has canceled upcoming events. The palace says she is fully vaccinated and had previously tested positive exactly one year ago. A new survey released today shows 60% of U.S. teen girls reported feelings of persistent sadness or hopelessness during the pandemic. More than 1,700 U.S. high school students were surveyed in class in the fall of 2021. Wall Street closed higher today, ahead of a Tuesday report on inflation. We'll learn tomorrow how bad consumer inflation was in January. Economists are expecting a slowdown. Amazon's self-driving vehicle unit, Zooks, successfully tested a robo-taxi with employees as passengers on a public road. The test was done in Foster City. The vehicle comes without a steering wheel or pedals and has room for four passengers. There's no timeline for release to the public. We learned today a new company is taking over operations of the former Raging Waters at Cal Expo. Silverwood Entertainment is taking over and looking at ways to make improvements. The company also hopes to eventually expand the park. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.